Morphogenetic regions consisting of distinctive climatic geomorphic processes having morphoclimatic equilibrium based on agents of denudation through precipitation and temperature variability regimes. Prof. Julius Boodle, in 1945, propounded the notion certifying that a particular topography being the resultant of certain climatic characteristics. Prof. Boodle published the System of Climatic Geomorphology, Das System der Klimatischen Geomorphology, and further in his Klima Geomorphology considered different weathering, erosive, depositional processes of aggradation and degradation, along with vegetative cover and compassing soil forming processes. Instead of relying over the climatic data for morphogenetic delineation insisted on diverse differential relief interpretation through ecological factors for comparison. Prof. Boodle considered inherited landforms being the relicts, such as mid-latitudinal landforms, overlooking the metamorphic and stratigraphic changes occurring through the ages depending upon vast tropospheric cosmological surroundings, processes, asserting cumulative effects. The tropical weathering processes occurring in Indian subcontinent and frigid Svalbard processes being noticed for Central European relief genesis having superimposed chronological structural palimpsest. The etch plain of Central Europe formed through late Cretaceous to early Pliocene accompanied by a transitional landforms forming period of late Pliocene to early Pleistocene. The spectacular glimpses of recent decades largely evolved through excessive valley shaping by glacial processes happened since long in periglacial as well as permafrost topographical regions during late Pleistocene, whereas Holocene contributed for soil cover. Thus, valley shaping being dominant in subpolar regions along with glacial action in the frigid as well as planation in the tropics. Prof. Peltier focused on relative geomorphic processes, significance for their respective intense climatic factors, constituting morphogenetic regions, considered mean slope angles for terrain analysis, stressing over the drainage morphometry being decisive for terrain characteristics in different climatic regimes. Certain morphogenetic regions are classified on the basis of chemical, mechanical, and frost weathering having variable fluvial, aeolian processes accompanied with mass wasting emphasis, such as glacial, periglacial, humid mid-latitudinal, continental and oceanic, humid tropical, selva, tropical wet-dry savanna, arid, semi-arid, dry continental, boreal, maritime as well as moderate.